this is our sixth set that we'll be seeing today. So abs I completely agree. I think that's a really good thing to call out too. That, you know, that's why I've chosen to give our randomizer personality and say that they're specifically picking things that are going to be really fun for us to watch. In my, in my own story of how this competition's going. So yep. let's see what they do here now. Yep, Tsunami in the green, uh, running a very aggressive comp, the Kensa Splattershot, Sasha Deco, the Ballpoint Nouveau, and the Kensa Perot. Um, whereas Duck Dollar Bill is running Kensa Dooley's Kensa Splattershot, Gope Charger, and Enze. Um, I would say both these teams have interesting weapon choices. We don't really see um, the flat duelies being used very much these days. Uh, I guess a lot of teams view them as a kind of not as strong as before weapon. Um, but at the same time, you really don't see a slasher deco of cancer shot and a pro being used. That's also fairly uncommon. So uh, it looks like Tsunami is going for a very slaying oriented comp here, trying to out battle the enemy team. They certainly can perform with it though. When they're on on their game, they certainly are. They are able to get the point all the way down to uh, below 50 right now, even though the zone might go in favor of Ductile Bills, and it does. And that is um, three down situation for Tsunami. So it's gonna be a lot harder for them to kind of come back out, but they all went down together. So they're not quite fighting a staggered spawn situation. They're able to just push back in, in a uniform group. Yeah, very well done. A very important battle won there by Wings against the ballpoint uh, player earlier. Um, if Wings loses that, you know, uh, Tsunami might not have lost the zone, or at least not as fast as they did. Cobb doing his best to stay alive, but unfortunately he gets taken out before his baller can come through. And as a result, Tsunami is going to get map control here. What Tsunami really needs to do is what Duck Dollar Bills were just doing against them. They're being very aggressive on that charger player, and they're very lucky they're able to take that charger player out, but they're only sticking down to the low ground. They're not trying to get pressure on snipe, and they're really just going for these picks rather than trying to go for map control. Um, and it's a, it's a all or nothing type of playstyle as Wings takes out the pro here. As another member goes down, three down for Tsunami, and that's what I mean. You know, you're just constantly going for fights rather than letting the enemy team try to fight for control. So as soon as you lose a fight, the enemy team instantly gets control of the zone back and the whole map. That's where you need to be so careful with that type of play. And I think that this is punishing Tsunami a little bit right now for it. As Duck Dollar Bills have a very commanding control of mid. And those kind of flanks that are coming around from Lucas here was called out. Even with the missiles coming down and the Booyah. They're able to neutralize zone, but not quite able to take it back. And this is, I believe, going to be the lead for Duck Dollar Bills. No, just before it, they are able to take it back. And Tsunami does take the zone back with just one point. This is, they've done this to the Duck Dollar Bills twice now. Yeah, um, but fortunately for Duck Dollar Bills, they do have two specials that were saved. Uh, Space looking like he's ready to use the missiles here. They use the missiles. Here comes the Stingray to follow up, trying to get a lot of chip damage down. There goes one player from that combo. Second player goes down. Really good special usage here that was pretty much textbooked by Duck, uh, Duck Dollar Bills. Sometimes when you have those specials, you're just waiting for that perfect opportunity to use them. That certainly was it. They do have quite a little bit left of this penalty to take down, but maybe it's just enough for them to finally get this lead that they've been looking for here. As the zone's been continuing to go back and forth pretty consistently, they are able to do it, so Tsunami now has a lot more trouble on their hands. As you mentioned earlier, their aggressive playstyle is very strong for what they've been doing, but in this case now, they need to be able to take this zone back, and they're not quite able to do it as they continue to get called out and even get wiped right there. Yeah, and it just goes to show with that a heavy, aggressive playstyle that Tsunami was running with those, those three weapons, with only the ballpoint. If their ballpoint's not able to safely be able to move up and help paint and apply pressure, um, he's not going to be able to do much. And at the same time, as soon as one big team fight loss happens for Tsunami, um, get pushed out of the map super fast by the more well-rounded comp being used by Duck Dollar Bills. So Duck Dollar Bills takes that win. What do you think Tsunami could have done differently in their comp that would have given them a stronger opportunity to fight back? 
again, you know, they if if they were gonna use the same comp that they were using, they needed to use their specials to take over certain parts of the map. So the baller was being used to go for kills rather than to push into certain parts of the map to help limit the ability for duck dollar bills to approach the middle of the map. They had such strong slaying weapons, each of their weapons being very good on their own, and they don't necessarily need to rely on a special or a sub to get kills, that you really need to use those other tools to help you position better. And they had it the other way around. They were using their main weapons to position and using their subs and specials to get kills. Um, you know, it worked for a little bit, but as soon as they lost one fight, they got punished very hard for that. So very they need true. to flip it around. And what can they kind of swap out? Would you think would be a better a better pick? If if you were them, what would you instruct that they should change up here? So I think Duck Dollar Bills um, doesn't really need to change up much, but for Tsunami, I really think they need to drop one of their Slayer esque players and or play styles into a more kind of painting oriented style. Granted, that's for Splat Zones. If we're moving into Tower Control. Um, anything that can help them survive on the tower here, especially in a map like Gobi, where again is a kind of smaller and fast paced map, is going to be of benefit to them. Um, I don't know if the ballpoint player only plays Splatlings, maybe going over to Heavy for the Ray uh, might be better for them as well. But really, they just need more survivability. And uh, if, if they're going to stack that aggression here on this map in particular, they're really going to want to push and take control of that enemy plat and hold it for as long as possible. You absolutely called it right there. Otter did swap over to that heavy splatling. What else do we have? We got the Kensa Pro coming back out, the Kensa Splatter Shot coming back out, but instead of the Slasher Deco, we got a Junior for their armor and bomb spam. I like that pick. Meanwhile, for Dark Battle Bills, we got a Kensa Cover, we got a Splat Charger, and uh, we're going back with the Duelies and the Splatter Shot. Now, uh, I actually am not really a fan of the Duck Dollar Bills comp here. They're very short range, and the long range of the Pro and the Heavy Splatling can really take advantage of the Duck Dollar Bills comp. So we're really looking for stand-up performances from those players on Tsunami for this one. I think Tsunami definitely has the ability to do so. It's just really going to be contingent upon how quickly they're able to kind of take control of objective. If I remember correctly, sometimes they do have a little bit of an opportunity where they lack quite what's going on with objective and they let it go a little and that could be to their detriment here if Duck Dollar Bills is able to capitalize on it. Just at that moment is exactly what I'm talking about. Tower had reset to neutral when maybe they could have pushed ahead a little bit more because they did have three down on Duck Dollar Bills, so it was a, a better opportunity for them to take that and the push. Yeah, at the same time, uh, it looked like Lucas, the junior player, was being super aggressive into the Duck Dollar Bills side, popped the armor, and then pushed all the way into the spawn by himself, and then somehow mixed it back into the middle of the map, staying alive, even though he had no teammates to support him. So, um, a very risky move that could have been punished, but luckily for, uh, for Tsunami, it didn't. At the same time, uh, during all of that, the pro player, I believe it's NASA for Tsunami, had their Booyah Bomb. And so I was really looking for that Booyah Bomb to come out to continue their push, but it never did. Or if it did, it wasn't very effective. So a missed opportunity there for Tsunami. Um, but they're maintaining their paint control in mid as they're trying to look like they're trying to start another push. I believe that they are going for it here. Otter coming up onto this block looking for a couple of picks before they're waiting for that opportunity to pop that ray. I was waiting for it as soon as it would come out, just waiting for some of their teammates to be in position. Avoids that bomb very narrowly and looking to build another ray, but they didn't really get as big of a push as maybe they could have right there. Yeah, um, there's this very long fight for mid happening where everyone's burning specials but not doing anything with them. Mm -hmm. It's just... <laughs> Over and over usage of specials to accomplish nothing right now. Um, really looking for some more aggressive plays. It looks like Duck Dollar Bills is finally getting some map control as we're seeing another fight play out here. 
Rambler does get a beautiful pick on NASA, which is going to be really nice for Ductile Bills as they're breaking their way through that first checkpoint. They decide to abandon it to get away from some of this bomb spam that's coming out. And that is going to, unfortunately, mean that they'll have to reset when they're ready to push that back. Tsunami, in really commanding position, has pushed pretty far forward from tower, but not quite getting any of the picks that they want yet to push the objective. So maybe they're just still waiting on a couple more of those before they're ready to bring out this Stingray and make something happen. Yeah, and uh, Lucas being forced to jump out here. It's an opportunity for Duck Dollar Bills. Um, they really only have to deal with the Stingray coming out here s soon. Or, never mind, it looks like the other team of Tsunami was able to just hold forward right to the tower. They, Duck Dollar Bills, unfortunately, did not defend the tower very well, and three of them go down. This is the exact type of... Now, like, is the exact type of play that I had expected to see from Tsunami. And that beautiful snipe coming out from Rambler right there on that tower. It, it's just... You know, this game is been pretty stale we hardly talked about Gobi, but i feel like they're having just a really tough time both teams doing anything and now that full wipe coming out from ductile bills is going to give tsunami a good opportunity to really push objective and get through this second checkpoint and give them a very commanding lead yeah uh, a very strong push coming in to kind of get some more points added on there uh good use of specials to make that happen however now that you went two down without really getting any picks. You have to be careful about the overtime push coming out from Dark Dollar Bills here. Um, Tsunami trying to set up to defend this middle of the map. Luke is kind of getting caught out, but somehow also surviving. Looks like Dark Dollar Bills weren't putting much focus on them. They really need to be careful of these members approaching from the side. Face and wings go down. Cobb is all the way up by... Oh, no. I thought Cobb was going to be able to do something. But the, because there was no one else within mid, they just didn't have an opportunity, even though they were about to get a couple more picks that they could have used for something there. Yeah, so... Um, Tsunami taking game two. Again, those long-range weapons. Uh, Otter having a good game, 13 KA. Taking advantage of the shorter range composition dog to the bills um and all the set is tied 2-2 as we go into game or sorry 1-1 after game two as we go into game three it's gonna be rainmaker on skipper pavilion this is the third time we're seeing skipper pavilion as well or second time third map that we're seeing repeated today too I've, I've been keep, keeping track here. I just wanted to kind of see if we could gather any data here. But it's really interesting that, as you mentioned, you know, we have 69 map mode combinations. And we've seen Starfish Zones twice. We've seen Gobi once on Tower Control, once on Rainmaker. And now we'll see Skipper Pavilion Rainmaker when previously we saw it on Zones. So what are you expecting? How, how different is this map? On Rainmaker than zones. So, uh, Rainmaker is weird in the sense that there's really only one way to really push it. Um, and while there's two routes to go that one way, it they're the both routes are fairly close to each other, where it doesn't really matter that much which one you go for. It all comes down to a matter of team composition. Um, so, it's one of those things where the specials are really going to make the push here. Um, Specials either to get some quick picks or specials just to push people away. Most likely what we're going to be looking here in this battle and whoever uses those specials the best as we're waiting for the spectator to press the A button to start the game. Sorry. Here we go. And that's what we're going to be looking out, <laughs> looking out for. <laughs> Sorry, this is actually uh, beyond just commentating. This is my first time um, <laughs> doing spectator role at the same time. So please forgive me for some of those little things because this is a speed ladder and I don't want to be the reason we're not being speedy. That's yeah, okay. I just couldn't resist the call out. You know my and my nature for call outs. Anyway, I do. Um, <laughs> tsunami going with a very similar comp. Um, only they swatch the sw swap the slasher deco instead of the cancel splatter shot. Uh, and Dr. Dollar Bill's pulling out a 
Ammo attempt to Berlag, but gets taken out by a well-placed bomb, and Lucas gets a double. Um, really wanted Tsunami to grab the Rainmaker right there, but they opted not to, and instead prolong a fight. So now they get control of mid, but at the same time, they give Doc Dalabellas a chance to respawn and get in position for defense. So I don't know if this Rainmaker push is going to go anywhere. I'm not quite sure. I think that this is really the type of comp that I was looking at for Tsunami, but going three down is not going to help them. And, you know, Duck Della Bills has a little bit of a stronger opportunity to push this forward. I am not really sure what Tsunami can do at this point to make sure that they're kind of coming up together because right now they are in a little bit of a staggered situation. They continue to go two down over and over again. They don't quite have the player power to stay alive long enough to make anything happen. Yeah, so they're able to get a push on a 27, which on this map is really strong, but I actually think Cobb there made a mistake. He got the pop with the Tentabrella, and he decided to just swim forward, grab the Rainmaker, swim forward, get as, much, as many points as possible. But if that was the play he was going to do, I think he should have taken the time to shoot out his shield in front of him first to give him more protection. And he could have potentially gotten even more points than just 27. Um, and you never know, little details like that could end up being a significant factor of, of, uh, of the match. I agree. I think having this um, Tentabrella is a really interesting pick for them, but you have to be able to use it well to kind of guard Rainmaker like the Brella is used for wings right there. Trying to get through some of that orange ink, not quite able to do so, but that's still another team wipe for Tsunami. So this is it. Duck Dollar Bill's right here. Cobb pushes all the way to five at the base of that Rainmaker pedestal, and I think that they're just tsunamis trying to clean up Duck Dollar Bills, but not able to do so so far. Yeah, uh, a very, very strong push, and they're still not even letting it go, although the Rainmaker does is able to escape and drop down away from uh, the, the enemy base here. Wings doing a very nice jump out, staying alive, realizing that really not going to be able to do much more from that position. Overall, a very, very valid push from Duck Dollar Bills. They still have quite a bit of time if Tsunami wants to be able to kind of take this lead, but they need to be getting there right now, and they don't really have the specials up, whereas Duck Dollar Bills does. They do have these missiles live and the Booyah, so that's going to be more helpful for them. Oh, missiles goes down, so maybe it might be an opportunity that Tsunami has right now. They've pushed Duck Dollar Bills pretty close quarters here, so they need to stay alive to be ready to make a push. Yeah, uh, specials being used in the middle of the map here. Uh, two members of Duck Dollar Bills go down. If they can find a way to get the Rainmaker pushed up a little bit, it could be the beginning of a start of a push for Tsunami. But two of their own members now go down, and three are up for Duck Dollar Bills, and the Rainmaker gets taken out. Um, it's just looking like the... Specials coming out of Tsunami just aren't used in a coordinated enough way for them to be able to make a deep push into the enemy base. This is kind of the the thing that, as much as I feel like Tsunami, their synergy is really well and they work well together when watching them, they're always a treat for me. This type of play where they're sort of neglecting objective a little bit and they're using the specials like you had mentioned in the last game to just take mid over and over again they're not really able to push as far forward is to their detriment right now and duck dollar bulls are capitalizing on it Cobb up here just making sure that they can rain down everything that he has in his power to like stall out this rainmaker for the last 40 seconds yeah at this point really all duck dollar bills has to do is just kind of all make sure no major mistakes happen in terms of team wipes really don't even need to be engaging the slosher deco here although forcing out the baller without going down is a significant win for them um even more specials being forced out of nami here and that's just going to make it harder and harder for them to position for a chance at an overtime push I really don't think that they're even close enough to be able to kind of get this. Otter is the only one up right now and gets taken out by space before they can do anything. Tsunami, you know, put up a pretty good fight for the first two games, but unfortunately this was a, a pretty strong shutout from Duck Dollar Bills on them. I think we can sufficiently say with confidence that Duck Dollar Bills is back. 
Uh, well, I mean, it is only one tournament, so we'll have to wait and see, but it was, it was a very strong showing for them in this match. 100%. Uh, yeah, very convincing 2-1 win coming out for Duck Dollar Builds over Tsunami.